Ultra Clean Technologies Projectile Verification System. The Generation 3 Projectile Verification System has been engineered to ensure that all ultra clean projectiles exit the hose or tube and enter the containment barrel along with the expelled contaminants. Electronic verification ensures that a projectile is never left in the hose or tube assembly by mistake. The PVSG3 also has built in data logging capabilities. The projectile size and quantity being fired are verified and logged into the built in counter. All PVSG3 orders include the following components the PVS control station an electronic foot switch and cable with a four-pin keyed connector, a twin-line pneumatic tubing and one-half inch by 10-foot air hose, a 24-volt DC power supply, and the containment barrel with a yellow electric cable with keyed eight-pin connector, the UCBM 1.25 bench mount launcher and the UCHL PVS handheld launcher need to be purchased separately. These components allow for cleaning all applications between one quarter of an inch or six millimeters through two inches or 50 millimeters. Begin setting up the PVS G3 by connecting the electric foot switch cable to the four pin socket on the left side of the control station. Then connect the yellow cable from the containment barrel to the eight pin socket on the left side of the control station by hand tightening the knurled nut. The containment system has a light sensor that verifies the projectile has exited the hose or tube. The containment barrel has green, amber, and red lights to let the operator know what mode the PVS is in. The light sensors should be cleaned on a daily basis with a soft cloth and light cleaning agent. The filter ensures that clean air is returned to the work area. Connect the 24-volt power supply to the right side of the control station and the plug end into the appropriate electrical connection. When using the bench mount launcher, there is a plug in the fitting marked blue on the left side of the control station that must be removed before installing the twin line tubing. Press the button in and then pull the plug out. Connect the blue and black twin line pneumatic tubing to the fittings labeled blue and black and the plug end of the air hose to the coupler labeled air out. The plug is only required when operating the PVS with the handheld launcher. Connect the coupler end of the air hose to the back of the bench mount launcher. Connect the other end of the twin line tubing to the color coded fittings on the rear of the bench mount launcher. Air connections are now complete between the control station and bench mount launcher. The ultra clean hand launcher connects to the right side of the control station. Connect the air hose to the quick coupler labeled air out and the three pin cable to the socket labeled trigger switch. Connect the air hose and three pin cable to the bottom of the launcher handle. Secure each connection by tightening the nut on each end of the cable. Connect a half inch ID air hose to the five micron filter located on the back of the control station. The inlet air pressure should never exceed 110 PSI or 7.5 bar. Set the pressure regulator on the control station to 80 PSI or 5.5 bar. Toggle the power button to power up the system. The touch screen will display the language selection screen. Simply select the flag representing the language of your choice and press enter. Touch the yellow box to enter your user ID and a keypad will appear. Press Enter when finished entering your user ID. Please press Next Page to continue. You will now be prompted to select the projectile size that you want to use. Be sure to refer to the Ultra Clean recommended sizing charts to select the correct projectile size for your application. Enter the projectile size that you wish to use and press OK. Additional sizes can be found by pressing More Selections. The Select Cleaning Mode screen will display the following options. Normal Cleaning, Air Purge plus 1 projectile, and Air Purge plus 2 projectiles.
The most popular cleaning mode is the normal clean mode when following the ultra-clean recommended cleaning procedure. The normal cleaning procedure is to fire one projectile each way through the hose after the cutting process and a third and final projectile through the assembly after the crimping process. Immediately after the firing cycle is initiated, a yellow screen appears with a projectile firing animation. After projectile verification, the normal clean mode screen reappears and the system is ready to fire another projectile. The Air Purge Plus One or Two projectile cleaning modes are used when large particles of contamination are generated from internally or externally skiving of hoses, or when cutting hoses with an abrasive wheel type blade. When using the Air Purge cleaning modes, it is important to set the Air Purge timer. We strongly recommend that the timer be set at no less than three seconds. The screen also displays the projectile size being fired. Begin the cleaning process from this screen by activating the electronic trigger of the handheld launcher or by depressing the foot switch for the bench mount launcher. Immediately after the air purge cycle is initiated, a yellow screen appears with the words air purge only blinking on and off until the timer goes to zero. After the air purge is complete, insert an ultra-clean projectile into the appropriate launcher and press the switch to activate the firing cycle. After projectile verification, you will be taken back to the air purge screen to start the same cleaning process. The air purge plus two projectile cleaning mode requires the operator to insert and fire a second projectile. The PVS has a fault mode to ensure that a projectile is never left in a tube or hose assembly by mistake. The operator will know that something is wrong when the compressed air continues to blow. If this should occur, simply press and release the electronic foot switch or trigger and the air will turn off and the screen will blink red with the word fault. The PVS will not work again until the fault is cleared. Before clearing the fault, the misfired projectile must be located. Visually look inside of the launcher, nozzle, and each end of the hose. The fault screen will prompt the operator to enter a password to ensure that the issue is resolved before overriding the system. Enter the password and select the carriage return key. Press the yellow Fault Reset button. The system will now prompt the operator to activate an air purge. This is to ensure that a projectile is not stuck in the hose or tube. Do not put a projectile into the launcher during the air purge procedure. Hold the hose tightly against the nozzle and depress the trigger to activate the air purge. We recommend that the air purge last for no less than three seconds. Once the trigger is depressed, the system will cycle through the air purge timer and return to the starting sequence screen. If a projectile is inside of the hose and dislodged during the air purge, it will be verified. However, the air purge will continue until the time expires on the purge timer. You can access all projectile and fault counts by pressing the counter information button. The counters can be manually reset by pressing the reset button for each projectile size. Faults can be reset on the second page by pressing the fault reset button and entering the password. All projectile verification system orders include an Ethernet card and free software downloads for remote data logging capabilities. For more information and support for all of your hose and tube cleaning and capping requirements, please email us at sales at ultracleantech.com or visit www.ultracleantechnologies.com.